Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a Lumion grass style in Blender and the advantage is basically because we don't need to worry that much about any details it's just the texture is going to do the job Okay. first of all we need to have our blade so for our blade we I will just draw a, a cube here let me do the screencast so now you can see what I'm doing here okay I just have a cube something like this okay oops this something more or less something like this this is kind of interesting we can take these guys put it down maybe these guys put it a bit here something like this maybe this guy here okay something like this that's gonna be our blade you see here okay you probably think that's a shit blade yeah that's a shit blade but it doesn't really matter because everything will be like faking so something will be it will be something like this okay now we will save this blade in whatever collection let's call blade okay all right let's go blade and then we make go here and our create a plane there's a plane while the belt the the blade's gonna be scattered now I'm gonna create a material for this guy cast texture here okay let's reduce the specular to zero we don't wanna any have any roughness that's gonna be very simple grass and you guys will see why it's working okay so now if we try to render we will see how it goes on how it goes here let's remove the lights so we can see better okay let's, let's something like this okay we don't want to have this in uv we're going to put this in object right so now it's based on an object which object let's tell this object okay and now if we get our blade and select the blade select the, the, the object go here to material and copy material to select so now we have the blade going on here okay this means that whatever we do with your blade if we reduce the scale or increase the scale you know it doesn't really matter the texture will, wouldn't be affected because it's based on this object that's exactly what we want okay now let's take this guy create a geometry node with it geometry node edit a new geometry node okay shift a we go to points distribute points on a face and then we go shift a again instance instance on points these did distribute points on the on the face on the plane now we don't see anymore because it replaced the plane for the points so we need to see to join the geometry to join the points and the previous geometry so now we can see the geometry we have the points and we are telling blender okay pick up some instance and put on those points but now we are we don't have any instance here that's why we're gonna bring the blade collection into here separate children reset children pick as an instance that's the base and then voila now we have our blades whatever we have inside this collection is going to be distributed here okay we're connecting our rotation with this rotation so this basically means that whatever we do here it will follow the normal okay now we need random value shift a utilities random value for the scale 
and then we have something like this let's not random that much the scale let's not random that much let's give it something like this maybe maybe 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 something like this okay but now we want to randomize the rotation rotation is busy here with the rotation and normal so we have to bring it instance rotate instances we have to have another rotation value here and we will kind of uh, put this instead of random float as a vector because we want to rotate x y and z see and then we can go like minus 0.2 point three you no know, something like that something like that and positive values and here we can randomize a lot on Z okay now we have something very random and I don't like to use just random I like to use position disk because I can tell like I, I want to have a minimum distance and I will I will give it this minimum distance maybe 0 0.005 0 0.005 maybe okay and I want to set up the density I can set it up here from here but I prefer to go and add uh, shift A utilities math math node because it's gonna be faster I will put it multiply right here density maximum so basically this will multiply by this in this case I can put this guy uh, 200 maybe and now I can multiply this by 200 okay and that's gonna be crazy like this if you see lumion grass is very simple when you see that working in lumen environment it looks good but if you see it's very very simple grass that's what we are we, we will try to copy here okay we will try to do copy the same idea all right so let's save this guy if as uh, what maybe grass grass yeah if we try to render out here we will see more or less what's going on and what's going on is this okay so we have a grass but at the same time the grass is preserving the, te the texture which is below okay that's what we want and now for more details what we have to do is or you go here in viewport display and put this as a bounce so you will see this just as a bounce or you keep it this as a texture okay but you go here to your geometry nodes and put it not here there is a way of controlling this the amount of grass you will see in the viewport here but i just don't know okay and uh, that's pretty much very much what i do to not break blender so i can hit i can hide the blade now and then i can basically maybe expand this guy as much as I can okay I have my camera here going on how is the texture going here let me see oh very repetitive very 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 repetitive but in any way let's say that this is a imagine this is a big landscape or something let's change the texture something like this more or less Okay, we can even combine this guy. We can even combine this guy. Yeah, okay, that's good. Okay, we so see here, and we can rotate it something 
rotate it something like this to give it some randomization you know maybe something like that okay how is the light going on let's see the scene with the light here we go ah pretty bad pretty bad lighting let's make this light goes down a bit let's put the sun elevation down a bit okay so we have some shadows maybe if we cast a cube here we will see we will be able to see better than this something like that maybe and let's rotate let's make something more interesting here rotate something like this maybe yeah, maybe something like this anyway something like that okay now we can do anything we can go here even go to our scoop it mode you know go here we can do crazy shit now go here dino topo destroy the mesh yeah it doesn't really matter we can do something crazy crazy things something maybe like this maybe like this no Something like crazy we can go crazy a little bit more dino topo something like this let's, let's go crazy let's go a bit crazy a bit crazy so we can see shape the grass something going on okay Something like this. Let's see how it goes, the render. Let's save first. You see that it works kind of not too bad right it's not too bad and it's a kind of uh, similar to what the lumen does for this for its grass okay you can even go here and it doesn't take that much memory it doesn't really take that much memory we can remove the randomization we can go a bit, a bit higher here something like this okay and the mesh will just follow we just follow the whole thing if you hit it render let's remove the composite all this all this shit here so we don't have anything here and also we will have something not that much want this to be maybe 20 20 something is good enough and let's see if we hit it brother the sun will be just like that let's put the sun lower a bit Maybe something like this. Maybe something like this, yeah. Hit render. I would like to show you here the memory. The memory is taking like 400 megabytes, so it's not that much. It doesn't take that much memory. And 
the advantage I would say the advantage of this technique for for an animation is because it will render it will render really fast crap okay and you have just one geometry simulating grass details for animation imagine this camera will be animated so you think that you may have flowers going on you may have something going on here you know all over the place but it's, it's just not it's just one geometry right simple texture applied in the plane and whatever you do here it will work yeah and that's pretty much it that's pretty much it if you want to have more details like let me see how much memory it takes it takes 288 memory you see this is a bug that is happening I don't know why this is happening it's happening just in my machine I don't know why Maybe because I have these two video cards going on at the same time maybe that's it but uh, the overall looks good that's the process I hope you like it I hope you like it and that's a kind of a lumion grass style that happens all over lumion place well yeah just if you wanna if you have more interest in real time EV just check my next video so when I'm presenting my new class on Hotmart on how to make it EV look like more realistic and I hope you enjoy it see you soon